Good morning, Year 3. Today we're moving on onto looking at parallel lines. So we'll begin with the in focus question. We'll look at what a parallel line is. We'll also look at how we use arrows to show a parallel line. And then it's your turn. The in focus question. So it says, what do you notice about the railway track? So we've got uh, two iron bars, two iron tracks, and then running throughout them, okay, we have uh, wooden slacks. So that's what the picture's of. And I want you to think, without me giving too much away about the lines, what lines do you spot? Okay, and think back to yesterday when we learned about perpendicular lines. And could we use letters like we saw yesterday in order to help us label these lines? So if you can have a go now, pause the video. If you want to la label your uh, lines with letters, that might help you. Mm -hmm. And think what you can spot. So, if we go back to yesterday's lesson and remember about our use of perpendicular lines, and we remember that perpendicular lines are two lines that when they meet, they make a um, right angle, okay? So, if I use my letters to label these lines, I've got A and B, okay? So, I can have A and B line. And I can also have an E and F line. I could have used different letters, but I chose E and F. So I think that line A and B are perpendicular to lines E and F. Okay? Because when they meet, they make a right angle. So line A and B and E and F, well, line A is a vertical line, isn't it? and E and F is a horizontal line, and when they meet, they make a right angle. So they are perpendicular lines. So that's one thing we could have found out. How about this? So we've got line A and B, like we had just, but we've also got another one that runs alongside of it, called C and D. Now, these lines don't meet do they? They're apart. So therefore, they can't be perpendicular lines. They must be something else. And this is what we call a parallel line. These are two lines that they run beside one another, but they do not meet to create an angle. Okay, And they run alongside of each other at the same point. All right. So it doesn't um, slide off or move away line C and D it carries on running at the same point and they are called parallel lines because they do not meet so if we look here okay we have got two lines we've got E and F and G and H and if you notice there is a little arrow in the middle of both of them. And we use this to show that they are parallel lines. If we didn't have that there, okay, we, we wouldn't know necessarily without noticing ourselves. So sometimes an arrow is used to show that they are parallel to one another, all right? So that is important to keep an eye out for, or if you want to use it to symbolize or show that they're parallel, okay? So if we look at this question, it says, which pairs of lines are parallel? So do you think that line M and L and O and N are parallel to one another? Or do you think that lines P and Q and R and S are parallel? Pause it, see what you think, have a discussion. Why are they parallel? Why aren't they parallel? And then we'll have a look. So hopefully you will recognise that those two lines, the purple lines, line M and L and O and N, are parallel because they don't meet, but they run alongside one another and they don't, the line, the distance in between them doesn't get any bigger or smaller. It stays the same. Whereas with the green lines, okay, they don't run parallel because the distance between the lines 
gets bigger, doesn't it? So therefore, it's not the same anymore. They aren't running parallel to each other. So we can say that lines LM and NO are running parallel to each other. And then here, if we have another look, which sides are parallel to each other, this is where your arrows will come in handy. So if we have a look, okay, so we've got lines A and D, we've got lines B and C, we've also got A to B, D to C, all sorts of lines that we can create here. But look and see which you think are parallel to one another. So again, pause the video and have a go. Use your arrows to demonstrate where you think the parallel lines are. So we've got here, we've got two parallel lines. So we can say that line A and D is parallel to B and C. All right, and again, I've used the arrow. If we move on, I can say that line E and F is parallel to line H and G. I can also say that line F and G is parallel to line E and H, okay? Because they're the same distance in between. So as you can see, I've used arrows to symbolize which are parallel to which. And I've also used a different color because sometimes there might be more than one pair of lines on the same shape that are parallel. You could also use, for example, we've done line E and F as parallel to H and G. And where I've done the green ones, instead of using a different colour, we could have perhaps used two arrows on those lines to show that they were parallel. Okay, so now it's your turn and I want you to go onto Google Classroom, have a little look at the activities. You'll see something like this. All right, so it says list the pairs of parallel lines you can find. So again, you need to use your letters so you can be the one that um, labels the parallel lines to begin with. All right, and then you can write your findings. Here on the number two, it says which pairs uh, of lines are parallel and it gives you the, the letters there that are labeled and so on. And remember, use those arrows to identify which are parallel to which, if you can, if it helps. Good luck.